Hello, sunshines. It's time for Tuesday's Fabulous Phonics. Are you ready? We're going to have a really short remembering phoneme session to begin with. Today there's only three, but I want you to have a look at the all digraphs. And I think they're a little bit tricky because they're quite alike. If I show you them, have a look and see what you think is quite similar or the same about them. Here's the first one. Remember this one? Mm -hmm. Second one. Remember that one from yesterday? And this one. So it was full and Brilliant. And what I notice about these is that they all have the letter H second, don't they? That phoneme is second in all of them. So, and, and, but we don't really hear that in them, do we? They've joined together as really good friends, but they've made a whole new sound together. So we just practice those ones again. Or th and sh. Right, what I'd like you to do, if I need to stop the video for a moment, is I'd like you to go to your phoneme pack and find your sh card, your th or th card, and your sh card. Or you can write them on three pieces of paper. You just need to have them ready for a little game. We're going to play because we're going to do some really careful listening to see if we can hear the phonemes in words. OK, so make sure you've got yourself those cards or written on pieces of paper and we'll play the little game. OK, I'll just give you some time to do that. Turn off the video if you need to. OK, everybody, time to listen brilliantly. I know we always put our phonics goggles on to look carefully. but I really want you to make big flappy ears today. We really, really do need to listen for these phonemes. So we're listening for sh and we're listening for sh and we're listening for th or th. OK, my first word is chat. Chat. So please hold up for me the phoneme that you think is at the beginning of chat. Chat. I wonder which one you're showing me. Are you ready? Chat with a ch. Did you hear it? Fantastic. OK, next word. Listening, this phoneme comes at the beginning again. Shop. Shop. That card. Shop. Did you show me this one? Shh. Brilliant. I hope you did. Don't worry if you didn't. Keep listening. I'm sure shan't sure to hear them. Bath. Bath. Phonemes at the end here. Bath. tongue went out didn't it because it was that's right bath do you hear it in there fantastic next one wish wish phonemes at the end that i want you to find wish i'm holding up this one wish yes did you hear it Fantastic. Next one. Thing. Thing. Phonemes at the beginning of this one that I want you to find. Thing. Thing. Well done. And the last one. Much. Much. Phonemes at the end there that we're listening for. Much. 
into the pitch. I hope so. Well done, everybody. That was a good little game, wasn't it? Listen to those sounds with ch and ch. Well, yesterday we had a jolly good look at th, didn't we? The th sound, which I said was the longer th sound. But sometimes when we see this phony, it says th. So it's a tiny little sound, isn't it? Like in the. So your tongue is almost just behind your teeth. Mm, mm. Not th, no, th, but mm, mm, mm. it's further back. Have a little practice with whoever's there with you. Mm. You can almost feel the sound is coming a little bit out of your nose as well, mm. rather than th, where it's all coming forward from your mouth. A bit funny how the sounds come from different parts of our face. Mm. Mm. Right, let's show you some words with that th sound in. Here we go. Th at, th at, that, this and that. I'll have that one, please. It's always good to think, isn't it, of a sentence with the word in, so you know what it means. Th e n, th n. Then I'm going to do this video. Then I'm going to make a cup of tea. Then. Next one. Mm. Is. Mm. Is. This. This. This word is nice to blend. This. For the moment, them. Can you find them? Can you find what you need? Can you find them? A group of things together. Them. Fantastic. All the phonemes each time came at the front of the word, didn't they? And with the short phoneme, with the short th, that's normally at the beginning. This. Then, that, and them. Okay, right, I've got a little picture to show you. Can you see it? What two creatures can you see there on the picture? Can you see a dog? And who's this peeping behind? Yes, it's a cat. We've got a dog and a cat, and that's what my sentence is are going to be about today. We've got two sentences today, <gasps> but they're both using the th, th, th sound at the beginning. Shall we blend this first sentence to read it together? I'll see if I can cover the bottom sentence up because it might be a bit tricky if we're looking at both. So let's do it this way. Let's just have a look at that top sentence first. Th, it's, th, it's, this d -og, d -og, dog. This dog is, is this dog is big, big, big. This dog is big. He is quite big, isn't he? He looks really rather huge. The cat doesn't look big, does it? Shall we see what the sentence about the cat says? That. Let's see if I can cover up the top sentence so we can concentrate on the bottom sentence about the cat. That. 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 Cat. 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 That. Yeah, that cat. Did you hear the rhyme? Oh, it's because they both got at at the end. Look, the at and k at. That cat is 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 all. Oh, I'll give you that's brand new. That is all that's all small. That cat is small. 
So they're very different, aren't they? This dog is big and that cat is small. OK, you can have a go in your books today, drawing a big cat and a small dog. <laughs> Maybe changing the sentences round. Or you could have a go at doing it the same way as I have. If you want to have a little writing practice now on your boards, have a go, please, at writing the word that for me. Like that cat. You could write that cat and draw a little picture of a cat if you want to. OK, give you some time to do that. That. OK. Turn the video off if you need to, if you're writing that cat. Have you written that like this? Th at, th at, that? I hope so. That cat. And now have a little go at them for me. Them. OK, can we find them? Stop the video if you need to. Them. OK. What's your word look like this? Them. You can always hear the word the in it, can't you? Them. OK. So this, that, them, then, there. There are so many words. So keep looking out in your books, anything you're watching that's got so many words on the television. Look out for the phoneme for me and I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow we are going to have a little practice of lots of the things we've learned over the last few weeks. We're going to have a bit of a recap. OK, and make sure that we've understood some of our and learned our new phonemes. Okay, take care. Have a lovely, lovely day, everyone. Bye bye.